Hello, Kev Edwardson Rally here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Pace Note plugin created by Workerby. Uh, this has been in RBR for a long time. If you're using Sim Rally fans, this is automatically installed into into the plugin anyway. So you'll you'll have this regardless. Uh, but I don't think a lot of people realise how much you can actually do with it. You just um, think it's just for changing pace notes but there's actually a lot more you can do including changing your seating position uh, your field of view and all that type of stuff so we'll have a look at that now you can actually do that uh, before the stage loads you never used to be able to but this has been added by uh, rally sim fans so if you change your camera um, you can actually uh, and press double right on your mouse stick on your mouse button so double click the, the right mouse button and this brings up the uh, internal camera options so from here you can change all your seating positions get them to where you want before you actually load into the stage so um, you can match it up to whatever you want um, per car now this will only work on a sort of per car basis so once you've got it set up for this car, for instance, uh, you save what you want, the field of view. Once you've set that in the launcher, in the video, like the, the previous video where I've gone through the launcher settings, when you change your field of view in there, this is where it changes. Um, so you've that, because I set mine to 0.9, whatever car I go into is automatically set to 0.9. So all I have to do is change my seating position when I get into a car for the first time, um, save it, and then I am set for that car. The next time I drive that car, it'll save the options, uh, so I'll never have to change that car again. But you will have to do it for each car the first time you drive it. Um, so the options you can do are obviously left, right. Uh, I think that's like looking left and right on a pivot. Um, you've got like up, down, looking up and down, sort of tilt. You've got forwards, uh, forwards and backwards. And what is that one doing? Uh, I'm not sure what that does. If that's forward, back. Uh, some of that might be the, the camera positions and this is what you can see uh, what loads in in the car yeah a bit of my, yeah so maybe this could help if you're having like if, if you're on sort of low end gear and uh, you're struggling with fps maybe if you minimize this to as little as possible so less of the car is getting rendered but that might help with fps i'm not a hundred percent um yeah, but that's all your camera settings. The show car exterior is your wheel and stuff. Uh, this can be a bit funny. I think this is dependent on um, the, how the model creator has implemented it. Um, and sometimes it's a little bit backwards. Sometimes you can have it off and it's showing hands and steering wheel and you've got to click it the other way. Uh, but I normally just have mine off. I don't have the steering wheel or anything. Um, but it does sort of change the stuff that loads in. Um, some extra features and that. So you can play around with that pair card as well. But mine is generally just turned off. Um, the next thing you can do is the dashboard. So I haven't got my dash on at the minute because I use Sim Hub. But you can move your you can move your dashboard about. Uh, so obviously the mini dash you can put whatever you want or if you're using full dash there's the options for that as well there's a couple of different ways you can do that um, a replay when you're in a replay you can control your replay speed so if you want to slow it down if you want like slow motion or if you want to speed it up and get to uh, like a point quick you can put it on times 10 and it'll be like on fast forward um, Another note on that is if you double click the left mouse button, this brings all like your pace note stuff in. Um, this has got a host of options as well, but if you're on a replay and you go, I think you've actually got to start, let's start the stage. Um, yeah, if I, if I was in a replay now, I can change 
the position you pause it with that and you can change if you know where you want to take a photoshop or you know where you want to get your camera uh, what part of the stage you can put it in there a uh, hit car position and the car will instantly go to that part of the replay and uh, so that's something to play around with as well um on top of that I won't go into the pace note side of it now but you can you can change your pace notes um say you uh, say you're not too sure on pace notes but you you spot a pace note that's you go around it it says it's a six uh but that but it's too slow for you and you want it you think it's more of a five or a four you can just change it to a four click apply um and change your pace notes that way won't go into that now um jan lanahan has done some some really good videos on pace notes and stuff so if you want it if you want to know how to do pace notes from scratch uh per stage i'll link jan's videos in the description because uh, pace notes is when it comes to rbr pace notes are actually really important and they they, they can make a massive difference in your speed uh, it's something i've come to realize lately when you start doing your own pace notes as well it's you start to listen to them more and start to understand them a little bit better and get more trust uh, in the stage it kind of starts to register and sink in a little bit more um so it's definitely worth looking at your pace notes um but as well as that the, these options you don't really need to use this anymore if you're using the rally sim fans because it's got the uh, pace note option where you can add the pace notes really easily in the past you'd have to if you created pace notes for a stage you'd have to save them to dry weather you'd have to then save them to wet weather you'd have to say for all the different sky boxes you'd have to resave the pace notes now you don't have to do that um all that is taken away by having that specific pace notes option in the launcher so none of these really matter as much so i'm not going to go into them either uh, but there is another host of options as well so you can turn your 3d pace notes on um you can turn uh show pace notes your distance all of this stuff here um you can actually uh yeah so you, you can you can do a lot of a lot of the options that are in the options menu you can do on the fly here um i tend to have all mine off so i'm going to turn all that off anyway uh so you've got all of that you've got your splits if you want to uh, end game clock if you want to show the end game clock um if you get a red bar like that that is the default stage i don't know if that's part of my sim hub um that might be part of my sim hub option i can't remember if that is part of the game anyway but if you if you see that that's what it is that means that you've gone past the default stage time um so i get that a lot because i'm slow <laughs> but that, i tend to turn me, me in game clock anyway off so i don't get that uh, so splits you've got timeline bar um if you wanted a timeline bar as well uh, you've got enhanced fps so all like here uh, if you want to know how you're running how the stage is running you can just turn fps on there uh, you've got show camera positions um uh, you want to see what your camera positions are uh, that might be handy for if you're wanting to set a bonnet cam and an internal cam and you're wanting to copy the settings over maybe that'll come in handy there but um it's not something i really use but it's an option that's there nonetheless uh you've also got show car damage this is quite a good one so this is handy for if you're in say you're in a tournament you know you've got a service coming up obviously with the service park now the time starts running down straight away so it's, it can be quite handy to when you get to the end of the stage have a look at what damage you've got so you've already got an idea when you're going into the service park of what you need to fix so if you can see that your radiator's gone or something else has gone you can and you think right i, I need to fix that straight away 
as soon as you go into the service park and the time starts going down you can you can go onto your radiator straight away and you know you can you've got like a bit of knowledge under pressure um so that's that's handy i do that quite often to be honest uh you've also got if you using a dashboard and you want to pull the foot pull up put the full dash on you can do that show standard calls uh mute i think that's muting the pace notes maybe uh, i'm not too sure actually what the mute is and no wrong way that's when you turn around you get the wrong way signal coming up you can turn that off as well um so yeah that's just a little a little look into the pace note plugin and all the options that it has and yeah just to let you know that there's more to it than just changing pace notes um thanks for watching don't forget like subscribe and i'll see you on the next video